Hi, it's Miss Carrie, and I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce to you our science provocation drive through bag that you're going to receive this Friday. In your bag, you'll receive a plastic cup, some Alka Seltzer, bubbles, a mitten, a film canister, a highlighter, and some string. And right here, it's invisible right now, is supposed to be a little keychain black light flashlight. So we love Amazon, but unfortunately those have not arrived yet. So we're hoping they arrive so we can get them in the bags on Thursday um, for Friday morning. But if they don't arrive, hopefully you have a black light bulb or a black light flashlight at home. And then uh, whenever we get them in, we will, um, if you come for a bag and you didn't get the light, then you just let us know that you missed the flashlight uh, and then we'll give it to you when you come in for another bag. So I wanted to show you a couple experiments. Uh, I'm gonna demo them just to give you an idea of what to do. Um, so I'm gonna remove uh, the couple things that we're not gonna use right now. Okay, so for your first experiment, we're gonna make a screaming cup. So you have a cup and a piece of string and what you'll need uh, that I'm sure you obviously have at home <laughs> is a little dish of water and then either a push pin or a safety pin, something to just make a hole in the bottom of your cup. So I'm gonna make a hole and I'm gonna wiggle my push pin around quite a bit uh, because we ended up buying the thicker string uh, so it would stay in the cup a little better and it wouldn't tear as the kids were exploring with it. So you might have to just wiggle that around a little bit. So you're going to wet the tip so it can go in the hole easier and then just feed it through the hole. And then have your child grab the other end. They can actually do all this. It's really what we were trying to do is think of things they could do on their own. So tie the end in a few knots because you don't want the string to pull through the cup. So I usually do three knots just because they're going to be pulling on the string. So you can feel free to do more if you like. So, oops, you hear that? <laughs> so what we're going to do is pull it to where the knot is in the bottom of the cup and then in your dish of water, you're going to wet your string really good just kind of push it in the water so what we're doing is letting some water absorb into the stream you're gonna take it out and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your cup like this so it's not you know you don't want to be doing this so you want to just hold it with your fingertips and your thumb and then you're gonna pinch your string and pull oops sorry sounds like a chicken <laughs> and I love this this is one of my favorite experiments to do with the kids so the uh, paper we're actually going to give you all a little packet of all the experiments that we're um, including in the the bag on Friday so there's materials instructions and the how does it work so it obviously will help you explain to the kids what's happening while they're doing their experiments so simplified what's happening here is when we're pinching on the string and then adding the water it even helps um, to add friction when we're pinching it to create the sound so you can do short pulls long pulls whichever you like but basically when you create friction on the string it's causing a vibration so when the vibration travels up through the string and gets to the cup, the vibration uh, causes the cup and the air in the cup to create that cool sound. So hopefully you all enjoy making a screaming cup.